if you want to get an A in your English writing exams, in your essays, you have to show the teacher or examiner that you know many words, and not just simple words, but more advanced words. One way to do this is to learn synonyms of words that you already know. Synonyms mean different words that have the same meaning. So for example, think of adjectives you already know. Big, small, happy, sad. Now, go Google what are their synonyms. Just typing a word, big or big meaning, already gets you the dictionary definition and under similar, you get all these similar words. You can also go to this website, the thesaurus.com. It's basically a website that gives you straight up all the synonyms for any word you put in their search bar. But you do want to be careful about the synonyms because Different words are suitable to be used in different situations. So let's say after we look at all these synonyms, sad, we want to remember that sad can also mean somber, right? So to fully understand this word, we shall Google it. The spelling is just different depending on if it's British or American. And then we can read its definition and most importantly, we have to learn words in context, right? So in their sentences. So we can read these sentences to understand where do they usually use this word. You can also Google sentences with the word somber and read up all these sentences to better understand the word. You can also compare it with your simple word and its definition in sentences. If you don't understand these definitions or sentences, feel free to use Google Translate to translate it to your native tongue, Mandarin, Malay, Tamil, whatever you're more comfortable with. And you can do both of them and then maybe you can see, you can feel the difference. Because in your mother tongue, you already have that understanding of how words are used in different situations, right? So you can use that to your advantage. Or sometimes words are lost in translation, like the translation might be wrong. If you're worried about that, you can go back to its definition or sentences and you can copy paste this to your Google Translate as well. So you can lower the chances of anything being lost in translation.